Hello guys, my name is Lotus again, and welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel 3. In the last video, we, um, went to the Heimdall Underground, and, to, and captured some members of Hercules, and now we're on our way to see our friends in, old, in the Old Class 7 at the Vesta Guild Branch. So, let's go. We're meeting at 7 p.m. Should I get, should I get going? Yeah. Oh, and I tried to turn it. I tried to complete the legendary recipe quest to, uh, quest earlier, but said I'd have to do it another day, which means it'll have to be right after I get back. So yeah, Instructor Reen. Um, have fun. Please send our regards to the old class seven. <sighs> Although it does make me a bit jealous. Well, it is the day that Jacques Reen has been waiting for for so long. Um, uh, please have a good time. Hey, um, hey, you're going to ha have all the ba- <laughs> You're gonna have all the babes there wrap wrapped around this. What? Hey! Oh yes, and if the Lady of One's heart happens to be there, things can catch fire quickly. Really? Come on, there won't be any of that. <laughs> okay, I'll see you all later. Uh, you uh, you have your uh, special op missions to do tomorrow, so eat well and get lots of rest. Understood. <laughs> get out of here already. Yeah, before Ash get, uh, makes any more misunderstandings. Well, he probably will, just not when it rains around. Oh, yeah. Dude, you can go faster. Elisa, Elliot, Laura, Machias. Any more? Oh, Emma, Eusis, Fee, Gaius. That was them in Cold Steel 1. Yeah, that was them in Cold Steel 1. Hey, what about Sarah? Oh, here we are. Vesta Street. Or, uh, I'd like to say that, but I'm not even... No, I don't think... No, this is Vanquish Street. Milliam. Sarah. Okay, there she is. Crow. Though he's dead. He died at the end of the Civil War. During the at the end of the match against the Vermilion Knight. Six fifty PM. Just about ten minutes before they were supposed to meet. Okay, here's Vesta Street. After all, he got there ten minutes early when they said he was good. When they said they were going to meet at 7. <sighs> yep, yeah. That's, that's, yeah, it's best to park it there. The Bracer Guild's bra uh, branch office uh, is up the stairs to the left. Is everyone there already? Alright, time to march up those stairs and say hello. I don't know why I went in here. I went to a private home instead. <laughs> Everyone's there already. The guild's crest. They put it up again. And I sense a lot of people inside. Yeah, that's the class 7. Knock and enter. Why don't I just kick the door down? Ah, there he is. Come in, come in! Pardon me? Yeah, it was a little loud, so... So yeah, I had to turn the volume down. Oh, Reen! 
You're finally here. Oh. <laughs> Guess I'm last. Sorry to have kept you. No worries. You're right on time. Yeah, ten minutes early. <laughs> Besides, we all know you had your field exercises to deal with. Well, as fully grown members of society and working professionals, we should be in the habit of arriving ten minutes early. <laughs> Says the man who waltzed in a mere five minutes ago. The guild branch's reopening came at a good time. Yes, I'm sure most restaurants are completely full around now. I can hardly believe we were all finally able to meet up again. <laughs> I know, right? Especially since we're all so dang busy these days. That's right. We'll certainly have a lot to talk about tonight. Good grief. Now, now, everyone. No need to dive into the serious stuff right away. Come on, it's our first big reunion since you all graduated. Let's cut loose a little. <laughs> Perhaps it would be best to start this reunion with a series of tender embraces. And not just <laughs> among the women, of course. All your male classmates should enjoy the comfort of each other's arms, too. Oh, jeez, no. Why not on my Hell life? Hell no! <laughs> 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 Sharon! Same as ever. Yes, it's almost a little surprising. The time and place may be different, but in the end, we're all the same people. Well, we have all been chatting it up on that app of ours. <laughs> when you put it that way, it kind of takes the drama out of things. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. I actually forgot B used to do that. <laughs> oh, man. I actually saw that coming. Fee, you grew taller. Lisa, you grew even prettier. And Emma, you grew even chestier. Oh, I, I was hoping you wouldn't mention that. <laughs> that hairstyle makes you look like an old man. D you're one to talk! <laughs> Green, you and Gaius are just way too tall now. <laughs> Don't worry. I think I'm done growing now. Out of all of us, you seem to have grown the least, Milliam. Excuse you! I grew one whole reach! Okay, Reens grew five. We finally fulfilled our promise. Yeah. Elisa, everyone, thanks. Um, oh, please. For what? It's not like we all got together just for your sake, you know. Machias is blushing. <laughs> well, we are celebrating Reen's graduation, too. Yes. After we had left, he stayed behind to uphold the spirit of Class 7. Not to mention he's the one in charge of the next generation of Class 7ers. It's been said before, but you truly are the core of our group, Reen. Thank you. For everything. You guys. <laughs> We're starting to sound way too sappy. Starting to? You guys have all been like this for years. I suppose there's no avoiding it. Today especially. <laughs> In any event, we have the party set up in the back. I've prepared more than enough alcohol. Oh. So please enjoy, provided you're old enough. Yeah, Milliam. Oh man, I get to have Sharon's cooking again. I can't wait. I knew I smelled something tasty. All right, give me the biggest, frothiest mug of beer you've got. You're nowhere near being old enough to drink. Oh yeah, have you even seen her drink?
Screw H. This is a this is a big event. Let her at least drink once. They they all proceed to savor the delicious meal Sharon had prepared for them. Between bites and compliments to the chef, they shared what they'd been doing since they last met up. The adults had their filled beer, some more than others, especially Sarah, because that's she drinks the most out of all of us. <laughs> While the younger members enjoyed soft drinks, they fl together they flipped through the album Toa ha had given Reen and reminisced about the past. Afterwards. Nine thirty. <laughs> Dang. About two and a half hours. Well, <sighs> time to discuss uh, something. I don't even know. Probably about plans. I believe I shall excuse myself now. Please enjoy the rest of your time here today, every uh, together, everyone. Thanks for all your thanks for all the food, Sharon. Yeah, it was delicious. Let's go drinking together again sometime. All right, see you later. <laughs> if they did, Sarah would just keel over. <laughs> Is your mom going to be uh, arriving here in Heimdall soon, Elisa? Yeah, she's taking a red light uh, flight here with Grandfather. Both of them were invited to the party being held at the palace. It's likely Sharon w uh, w it's likely Sharon uh, went to go pick them up. However, it's just as likely she simply wished uh, to give us privacy. I suppose. After all, she's at least a little bit related to the things we were planning to talk about tonight. Yeah, I agree. Man, she's getting way too caught up in the past. Oh yeah, have we checked? Have we checked this place for bugs? Um, uh, for bugs, mics, all that surveillancey stuff. Yep, top to bottom. There were many. Su there were many such uh, devices found in Heimdall over the course of the day. Most of them hidden in government buildings. The government, uh, the Imperial, uh, the Imperial Chronicles office too. With, uh, with this in mind, we should get down to business. Indeed. Let us begin. A year, uh, a year ago, when all of us, save Reen, were allowed to graduate earlier, we promised each other that after one year had passed, we would have a reunion. Yeah, it felt like a, it felt like so long ago, but time has really flown since then. Identity, identify the path Erebonia is headed down and determine how Class 7 will act. That's what you said we do. Yes, the night after we survived the trial of the Reverie Corridor. When I, when I first heard you say it, it sounded like your usual nonsense. To be fair though, we all had a bad feeling. The things we heard in the Infernal Castle that day, that day we lost Crow. Yeah, and everything that Chancellor Osborne, the Governor General, said about the direction they're leading Erebonia in, and about the Phantasmal Blaze plan of the Chancellor stole, uh, stole from Ouroboros. We need to we need to worry about both what's happening on the surface and what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah, all the stuff we heard about then uh, is finally starting to happen now. Indeed, the incident that occurred this spring are proof. Let's begin. Uh, let's begin by discussing the political uh, by discussing the political uh, situation occurring publicly. Yeah, I'm not really in a place to say it, uh, to say it, but things have gotten pretty darn bad. I'm also curious of what role uh, Orboros and Calvert played behind the scenes of this in the Northern War. And the uh, imperial government's military decisions uh, lately are just so sus are just as suspicious. Twelve of those new model rail uh, railway guns have been complete have been completed already. The four of the 
the four of them used to attack Ordis were carried to Crossbell. They carried those enormous things all the way from the canyon? The way I hear it, they had a brand new airship with more than enough muscle for the job. A 250 arch class, uh, class ship called the Gargantua, I think. I've heard that name before. And it seems like they're working on making even more of them. All the audits happening all over the pl all over the place lately made them made me realize, Mira, people, information, they're all being channeled into a, a few key projects, the Eight Metropolis Plan especially. All the mm, all the tax money in the entire empire has been co has been consolidated in Heimdall and converted into a never before seen amount of military funds. Seems pretty clear what's going on. Yeah, all these pl all these things point to the same goal. The invasion of the Republic of Calvert. There's no mistaking it. Yeah, Calvert spies uh, being here only serve to reinforce that hypothesis. That being said, their goal is not sabotage, but gaining uh, but gathering information. Yeah, if they uh, if they actually went and did anything. The war would be right on, would be on right then and there. They're probably trying to figure out the D-Day, when the invasion's planned to start. Just as, just like I thought, touring around the Empire, I had heard rumors here and there suggesting there'd be a war. I wouldn't be surprised if my mother knew about this already too. Between the railway cannons, the new airships, and the mass production of tanks and panzer soldats, there's no way that uh, she could have uh, greenlit uh, all those projects without knowing what they were for. On top of that, there's a huge factory being constructed in Crossbell. But given all that, the question becomes, why? War between the, uh, these two massive countries could ravage most of the continent. It's true that Air Bunny and Calvert have been at it like cats and dogs for hundreds of years, but are they really just going to throw down? Hmm? Absolutely. You're real. Okay. Guess who I sold the store? Hmm? Guess who I sold the store? What? Mrs. Saltzman. Okay. She did leave. Okay. She wasn't making enough money, and she, where she's working now, she's making double the money. Okay. And she said to tell you she misses you. Okay. I said, well, you were worried about her. Mm-hmm. So. All right, I want to get back to my video. Okay. Otherwise, one hour. A war, ugh, a war that size would bring international trade to a screeching halt, so none of the other countries are going to be too pleased. Besides, in order to start a war, they'd uh, need uh, authorization from the emperor. There's no need to. There's no way he'd uh, allow it without ju justification. Well, that wasn't an issue for the invasions of Crossbell and Northambria. The justification was fabricated and statements from other countries were shut down. The other, uh, the one who set all this up is none other than Gilead Osborne. As his son, I think I have a unique understanding of just how dangerous that man is. Reen, you don't need to worry so much about that. I feel the same way about my older brother, Rufus Alberea, the, the head of the Ironbloods. I suspect he's no mere confidant. Wait, uh, I, for I forget where I was at. Um. Oh, okay. Start to know. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised to discover it was he who laid the plans for the invasions and the early stages of the wars. Hmm, yeah. I'd say the odds are pretty good. Recently, he's been acting pretty secretive with me. He's even been keeping stuff from Claire and Lecter. The most important thing being important about the Black Workshop. That name again. 
Yeah, another group. Yet another group lurking in the shadows of the Civil War. Both my brother and the black and the black rabbit were uh, were lent uh, to the Noble Alliance. <laughs> yeah, lent. Lent is the key word here. Lent. If the invasion is the surface stuff, uh, these guys are definitely one of the behind-the-scenes topics. That said, the two are more tightly woven together than ever than ever now. I think it's safe to say now that the Black Workshop are related to the gnomes uh, who once uh, fought the Hexen Clan. It seems they've cut ties with Ouroboros and have sided with Chancellor Osborn. They also hired the boss and that masked guy. He also he called himself Azure Siegfried, right? I can't believe it, but both the masked man and the Jaeger King flew off in that uh, in what appeared to be divine nights. But uh, between them and the maiden, I feel I get the feeling something especially ominous is building. <laughs> yeah, I already know the answer, but I'm gonna leave you in the dark for now. Yeah. It all reminds me of the circumstances that led to the War of the Lions and the arrival of the Infernal Castle. Something buried deep in Erebonia's history and connected to the Divine Knights. I discovered this while searching for my sister. As I've mentioned, uh, the spirit veins in Erebonia have begun to pulse faster and faster. Just like during the Civil War. No, just like the War of the Lions 250 years ago. Following the annexation of Crossfell and Northambria, it's only started to speed up. It, mm, it's this quick, it's this quickening of the spirit veins that's causing the cryptids, magic knights, and the scarlet pleuromograss uh, to appear. I suspected as much. A link between the surface and what's happening beneath. From the sound of it, the only ones who know the full truth are Vita, Chancellor Osborne, or Boros, and the Black Workshop. And me. Man, I wish my memory hadn't been erased. It's so frustrating not being able to remember anything from back then. I'm sure homunculi and uh, combat shells are super connected uh, to all that behind the scenes stuff. Oh, that's right. I forgot the Black Workshop was where you were created, Milliam. Yep, I'm a homunculus, so I'm technically not human. But besides the part of me that lets me link to link with Lammy, my my DNA is pretty much the same as any of yours. So I'm starting to think my growth was stunted, though. I don't know how long my lifespan is supposed to last either, Milliam. I've heard a bit about that. The Black Workshop, unforgivable. Yeah, I'm glad we got Milliam and Altina from there, but. I can't forgive them from playing with someone's life, playing with someone's life like that. Yeah, I'm. I've start. Yeah, I've been starting to think that recently too. Like I'm fine with whatever happens to me, but I'm worried about Tilly. I see. It seems you have grown after all. All right, we got some information from the bra uh, from the branch campus earlier. Why don't you tell us the re details, Reen? Oh, you mean about the cemetery? All oh, right, we got the same report in the intelligence division. Uh, huh? What happened? So, try to stay calm, everyone. <sighs> Rain explained what happened during the day of the special operations uh, during the day's special operations missions, and finished his story. Uh, with mention, with mention of what they found at Crow's grave. Uh, are you kidding me? A and Angelica's brooch was there too. From the sound of it, everything leads back to the Black Workshop. Considering how the boss came back to life, maybe the same thing happened with Crow. Both of them are working for the uh, for the Black Workshop. No, the gnomes. Uh, are you saying they brought both of them back to life? Emma, do you know of any spell capable of, of performing such a feat? There is a forbidden spell called, uh, known as False Soul. 
but uh, but it was only attempt uh, it was only ever attempted by wizards in the dark ages and it's never once successfully resurrected anyone it was said that most of the subjects became fiends known as Nosferatu. Hmm? That name rings a bell. If I recall correctly, that was the name of the creature we encountered at Lahankran Castle. That monster. The Jaeger King and the Masked Man are certainly nothing like, the abomin like that abomination. I guess there's a chance the gnomes were somehow able to to perfect the spell, but I doubt it. True resurrection is something only the goddess is capable of. I see. Oh, uh, I know the truth of why they were resurrected, <laughs> of why they're still alive. But I'm not gonna tell you until after until. Every until the game's over, cause then that's where I'll. Re well, actually, I won't tell you until the time's right. Trying to think of this stuff's making my head spin. Either way, something very strange is going on right now, and in the midst of it, Angelica and George have both gone missing. About that, I'm having the guild's informants look into their disappearances. Tell Tor. Tora. <laughs> Tell Toa to stay strong. Understood. Many mysteries yet remain, but that must uh, be sufficient for today. We're starting to piece things together little by little. Laura. <laughs> Sorry. Indeed. We shall uh, continue to look into, the ma into matters until all is made clear. Now we need to decide as a class on what actions we should take. There are two things for sure. We need to stop the war that's been building on the surface before it starts. And at the same time, we need to find out what's been going on behind the scenes and prevent whatever disaster's being planned. I agree completely. Everything else might be really complicated, but those two goals are set in stone. This is something only we can figure out, thanks to each of us having branched out on our own. If we each make the most of our unique situations and pool information, together, we will be able to overcome any obstacle we may come across. Right, no matter whether it's on the surface or behind the scenes. We don't have many allies, nor are we alone. Agreed. Let us find those willing to aid our cause. Wait, Milliam, are you okay with all of this? You do realize... Standing with us will eventually mean standing against your fellow Ironbloods. That's right. Fighting cryptids and magic knights is one thing, but... Think this over and tell us what you want to do, Milliam. Hmm... You're gonna ask me that now? Huh? Milliam? I don't remember anything before the past five years. But I started to think about some stuff. Like what I am and what it means to feel sadness. I've been thinking about this stuff ever since I met you guys two years ago. <sighs> I want to learn more about myself. I want to keep being your guys' friend. I like Gramps and Claire and Lecter, but... I want to find out what I am on my own terms. I don't like the idea of the Black Workshop controlling what I do and don't know. Even if it means going against Gramps, I'm a member of Class 7 till the end. I'm more than just the Black Workshop's OZ-73, the Ironblood's White Rabbit, and an agent of the Intelligence Division. Reen, Eusis, Elisa, Emma, Fee, Laura, Elliot, Machias, Gaia, Sarah, all you guys. When I cried for the first time, it was all of you who held me close. I'll always put you. My friends, first. Milliam. If I played this game first, oh man, it wouldn't even make sense. <laughs> I swear. I'd be like, when I did this happen? I think that caught us all off guard. I... I had no idea you felt that way about us. You may not have grown much physically, but you've definitely done a lot of growing on the inside. Agreed. In that sense, I think it's safe to say you grew the most out of any of us. I suppose we needn't worry about you anymore. Mm-hmm. 
It was silly of us to doubt her after all this time. Uh, you guys just can't resist the chance for an inspirational speech, can you? Well, now that you've decided what to do, you guys seem more determined than ever. For your more immediate plans, what are you all going to be up to tomorrow? The new Class 7 and I will continue with our special ops missions. I think it's especially important we capture the Calvardian agents. I agree. If we let them roam free, whatever they do could be used as an excuse to start a war. Yep, just like how Keldic was used to start the Northern War. I'll continue playing my shows around the city and gather information. I'll come with you and see what I can find too. I'll keep following Grandfather and hit up some contacts of mine for info. Selene and I will continue to investigate the spirit veins around Heimdall. So the plan's for everyone to gather info, and then we'll all meet up and share notes, yeah? Yes. Let's stay in contact and be ready to move at a moment's notice. All right. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Look at you. You're all so reliable now. But it's getting a bit late. How about we call it a night? I'll set up a call with everyone early tomorrow morning, and we can talk about our plans in more detail. Yeah, sounds good. Get some good rest tonight, everyone. Are you two racer types gonna stay here for the night? Mm-hmm. There are beds on the second floor. I'll be sleeping at home for the first time in a while. I assume the same can be said of you, Elliot? Yeah, I called my sister. Gaius will be staying with us tonight. Thanks again. I appreciate the hospitality. Oh, I nearly forgot. We have yet to discuss your situation, Gaius. That's right! We were unable to contact you for nearly half a year. You were somewhere outside the country, right? Yes, but it's quite the tale, so it may be better to leave for next time. We're gonna meet up again before too long, so I'll tell you then. <laughs> True. <laughs> <sighs> I guess it wouldn't be fair if I heard it first, huh? Oh, and I was wondering... About that little blonde girl you mentioned seeing, Reen. I was wondering about that myself. You said she looked ten years old. Could be a witch in training? Well, that isn't right, but I guess it's not wrong either. She went missing and we've been looking all over for her. Sheesh, her and Vita both just wander wherever they want without telling us a thing. But whatever. I'm sure we'll have to introduce you to her soon. Now I'm even more curious. <laughs> Got it. I'll be looking forward to it. If I call him by his real name... If I called him by if I called him by his real name, then that would have then that would have uh, then that would have revealed a major spoiler. Looks like there's a no turning. Looks like there's no getting Lita back. Nothing uh, nothing we can do for him now. At least we don't need to worry about him leaking any info. All, we're all set with the Heimdall Bank. We need to. We're all set with the Heimdall, uh, with the Heimdall Bank. We just need to hit the VIP room, right? B but they're planning a huge sweep of the tunnels tomorrow, right? Yeah, they're going to declare martial law. They've got their fourth armor. They've got their fourth division here on standby, ready to go. But be but thanks to our Ramdas, we should be able to wait out the storm. <laughs> we'll just need to keep an, a close eye on things and wa and watch for our chance to escape. Oh, hey there. What's this place? One of Heimdall's underground crypts um, from the from the Dark Ages, I think. Red grass. Oh, uh, red grass down here. It's pleroma grass. What? Th this grass. Oh no. Oh, it's a no oh Nosferatu. 
<laughs> Hostile spirits? Activate your ram dust. These should be no... <laughs> They're surrounded. We're surrounded! Hello. T damned fools. <sighs> I'm too late. Were that prodigal child with me, we might have dealt with this together. Between the gnomes and the snakes, there are too many plots in motion for me to stop on my own. Perhaps I need to create more kin. Perhaps. <sighs> the day Leanne spoke of is close at hand. If nothing else, I must settle matters from 200 years ago before then. I vow it on the name of the final true ancestor. The one that failed to die. Crimson Roselia. This is truly an honor. Truly, yes. Here, a reward. Keep it up. Oh, I will. Monks think you give to Rob safely, huh? Nice. Office sticker, five. Mm. Alright. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!